Hello everybody, Step Forty Three here, and today we're starting a new series, series, series called Monster Loves You. And today, nope, but I love you more. But I love you most. Anyways, we're going to be start, start blah, 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 starting a new series with my dad, Bear Ghost. So we're playing Monster Loves You, and this is a game that that Snapple really wanted to play. Just click play in the middle there. Those are like little achievements you get later on, I believe. So this game pretty much is, the, the, the premise of it is before she gets started is you're a monster that's about to be born and you have to decide your story. So pretty much the entire game is going to be Snapple and I reading and we're going to decide all the different choices our monster is going to take throughout the storyline. Help me begin your story. How does it go again? Long ago, deep in the forest, monsters called the Wailmist. So do you want to read the story and I'll read the answers? Yeah. Okay. That's right! Long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest, was the monster village at home. You are born from the sun that holds the memory of the monster. Four. Actions and attitude, or words and thoughts? Actions and attitude. <laughs> you're not awake yet. You're not awake yet, but soon your your first eye will open. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. Your dream of. Fighting and eating and screaming, facing frightening enemies unafraid, or protecting innocent monsters from harm. Fighting and eating and screaming. Your body is turning, twisting, and growing solid in the middle of the great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. Okay. Okay. Be born, huh? You're awakened in the growing season, where the forest is erupting with color. Onward! Onward. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes open. You're a morsel, just barely born. You float and spawn in spawning vat, dozens of other morsels exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Try to swim or stretch your squishy little arms. I, th I said we should squish, stretch our squishy <laughs> little arms. <laughs> you spread out the upper corners of your body and feel the tips of your arms split and harden. Ew. Keep stretching. stretching. The hard parts move through the stuff around them, forming parallel curving pieces. Flex the curving hardness. <laughs> Wait, let's flex them muscles. You just bought tickets to the gun show. You have claws now. Hooray. Slash the slime and try to swim. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show a set of small, sharp teeth. It bites you. You can either go, I swim away from the toothy morsel, or what? This is intoler- I didn't even get to finish reading it. <laughs> Stop biting! You gotta let me finish reading so they can read it too, honey. Okay. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Do you resist it? Do you kill it? Or do you unite other morsels to repel the attack? Kill it. Grrr! Hey, you got ferocity plus nine. Yay! Grrr, you rip into the violet morsel. It has fangs, but you have claws. Keep fighting. Grrr! Your first snarl. Excellent. When the fight is over, you're chewing on another morsel's eye, which is all that remains. Ew. Serve that morsel right. Splash, flutter, splish, squeak. Another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking toward the bottom of the spot with that. Ignore it and swim on. Too bad, but these things happen. Oh no, that's terrible. Ignore it and swim on. <laughs> We're going to ignore it and swim on. You paddle yourself elsewhere, looking to live your own life without thinking about the end of others. So it goes. He's a mean monster. You have grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. Got any advice? Or no, don't grow up. You are going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Indeed. To the Brood, Brood Cave and Adventure! adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got to our adventure now. Choose your adventure. Ooh, I'm not sure. I remember watching one of these, and I think you can only click on it. I'm not sure. You've got a spider, a shield, a snake, looks like a mouth, a claw, a one eyed monster, a bear paw, some rocks, a fox head. What do you see a mouth? Oh, God. Yeah. I'll do the monster. Nash, Nash. A 
with gob claws are racing to the ceiling of the cave. They've already climbed way when go way up when gob claws invite you to join them. You don't see a good way up though. So you can either look, look at the paths the path they took and copy them, just face up to it, admit you aren't much of a climber, or make a fair effort but you're but you stop before you get hurt. You get hurt. I'm gonna do the misspelling one. You followed Nash Nas claw of marks, but you can't match her skill at climbing. She calls you a coward as you slide back down the cave floor, but you don't care. Oh, okay, that was it. Choose your adventure. Let's do the spider. Something is scurrying along the walls, and the ceiling, and the floor. Spiders as big and round as plates. They are swarming into the cave. You can't tell if they are friend or foe. Do you confront them? Do you stay between them and other monsterlings? Or do you throw blots at to them as a sacrifice? Um... I say we, uh... throw blots at them as a sacrifice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kindness zeroed. Bravery zeroed. We just lost all that. You seize Blots and hurl him into the center of the carpet the huge spiders. They scatter away from him. He stares angrily at you as the spiders flee. <laughs> we just threw that guy into him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have him anymore. Pick. What do you want to pick next? What's that puddle? Thing? Looks like a puddle. You notice a puddle of glowing slime at the back of the cave. It pulses like a heartbeat. Blots shoves you towards it, <laughs> daring you to eat it. Don't be a human, baby! Show Blots up and eat it. Blots should have done, should have this, or get away from Blots in the slime. Show Blots, eat it. You creep close and swallow a mouthful of slime. It doesn't taste like normal slime, and it's dissolving everything else in your stomach. Cool. <laughs> it's an antacid. It's like Tums. Big bite. Blistry climbs on top of the lichen pile. She refuses to let any other monsterlings eat, proclaiming herself ruler of the lichen pile. Do you charge it, Blistry? She's an idiot. Find an elder to stabilize the pile or gang up on her. Gang up on her. Okay. Oh, we got some cleverness. You gather a small force of monsterlings to teach Blistry a lesson. What will you do? Charge in as a group or split up and distract her? Charge in as a group. Okay. You gather the other monsterlings and scream. Everyone rushes it simultaneously. Blistery glides out of the way just in time to avoid certain doom. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> she got out of the way. You are halfway towards leaving becoming an adolescent. Firm up your personality as much as you can. Um. Good mouth. Elder Marinus floats in a pool of cave water. Puffering her body like a bulb weed, she points at something deep under the water. Well, you get that for me, little one? But you can't swim. Who's Elder Marinus? Sure, you're not afraid. Plunge straight down. Figure out another way to get the thing out of the water or tell her you could do it, but you don't feel like it. <laughs> we don't feel like doing it. Oh, we just lost some bravery and cleverness. Oh, who cares? Your excuse is more transparent to Marinus than the somewhat cloudy water of the pool. She shakes her head, disappointed in you. Okay. She's an ugly woman anyway. <laughs> it's an ugly monsterette. All right, we got the shield, the snake. <clears throat> oh, I guess we're doing the shield. Smark falls from a high ledge. He falls all the time. But wait, what's that? That's a big bat trying to gnaw pieces out of him. Do you try and separate them without hurting either? Do you tackle the bat before sh Mark is hurt? Or do you cheer for the bat? Cheer for the bat! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You wave your arms and try to come up with a song, bat song. Wait, with a song of bat support. It's not very good. Gob claws and blistery run over and drive the bat away. Everyone frowns at you, especially Schmark. <laughs> Fox head. A roly poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock and coughs. It looks vaguely at you and the other monsterlings showing no fear. Do you talk to the fox or do you wait and see what happens? Wait and see what happens. While you stand idly by, Nash Nas pounces on the fox, tears off its head and eats it. Blots and Gobclaws move in for a few bites, which Nash Nash graciously shares with them. Do you join in? 
or do you leave them to it? Join in. By the time you do join in, there isn't much left. Nash Nash gives you a paw, which doesn't contain a lot of meat. Oh well. Alright, we're Looks gonna... like a knowledge All right, person. We'll go with one of those. Nash Nash shows you a rock. It's the best rock in the whole cave. It looks a bit like sleeping rabbit, but it's otherwise ordinary. Do you tell her she can find better? Or do you say, Nash Nash is always slapping you. Slap the rock out of her claws. Or she's dangerous. Tell a white lie. <laughs> well, we're gonna s <laughs> slap it out of her hand. It's stupid. Also, you smell like a wombat. You dash the rock into the cave floor, smashing it into a dozen shards. <laughs> Nash Nas spreads her claws and rushes you. Do you get out of the way? Oh yeah? Fight Nash Nash. <laughs> The two of you wrestle and slash each other until you're exhausted. You win the fight, but only because she was already tired from lugging around that stupid rock. Wow, you're just thumping everybody, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Oh my, you wake up and find that you're no longer a little monsterling. You're growing up. Wow! wow! Elder Lamarinus calls the oldest monsterlings to gather in a group. You're one of the oldest ones now. You should join them. She looks grave. Go with Elder Marinus or hide and watch and see what's going on. We're gonna hide and watch. You squeeze behind a big boulder at the back of the cave. There's a wide tunnel behind it. Big enough for an elder. Ha! They'll never look here. Oops, Marinus slides the boulder aside. She and another monsterlings are surprised to find you there. Do you pretend you were waiting for them or do you admit you were hiding? Admit you were hiding. Oh, you were honest. Marinus smiles. It's all right, little one. New things can be frightening, but you have little to fear today. Did she say little instead of nothing? <laughs> she did. <laughs> Marinus shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way, that among dozens of forking passageways. Oh, passages. Keep going. Marinus stops in a warm, humid chamber with a pit on the floor. She points to the pit, which sees with thick mist. Jump, Jump right, right in, in, or wait for her to wait, make you go. Jump right in. You fall and fall, fall some more. more. And fall, and you're falling. And other monsterlings are falling? Yes, some of them are crying. And you can't see through the mist. Or is it fog? Maybe, Maybe clouds. clouds. Moans and groans and whispering screams. Where am I? I must be somewhere. You land on a smooth, flat stone. Despite the swirling vapor, the floor is dry as a bone. You hear other monsterlings breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you. Still falling? Get out of the way, or try and cushion the fall with another monsterling. Or for <laughs> the other. Oof! You don't see who helped. Whoever rolls away into the thick fog without a word. Gratitude is not important. I just like landed on him and then my like, gratitude went up. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages out of there than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic, while others look determined. You should take charge, or maybe someone should. The other monsterlings watch you, curious. Do you lead the way personally? Do you slash the others to show them you're in charge? <laughs> or do you help everyone work together? <laughs> We're gonna slash them all. A half-seen monsterling whimpers in the fog and you flick your claws, drawing a little blood and a lot of noise. A few howls and shrieks cow the others into silence. Aww. Explore in an orderly fashion now. I didn't get a chance to finish reading. Sorry. You should discover that all the passages converge in yet another mist-filled chamber. The mist here is even thicker and you have quickly... Oh, and you loo quickly lose sight of the other monsterlings. That's okay. They're cowards anyway. The chamber swirls with mist, smoke, fog, vapor, except it's not any of those things. It's ghosts. Hundreds of them. Large and small. They are everywhere. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> spooky. It's very spooky. One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. Their eyes glow different colors. Do you stand fast or do you cringe like a little girl? Stand fast! <laughs> the ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask you, do you fear? Yes, this is scary! Or attack them! Or wait and say nothing. <laughs> attack them. You scream and leap. The ghosts are unsubs 
unsubstantial, swirling around you, your claws like nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing at all, <laughs> stupid spectral monsters. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to end episode one of our Monster Loves You series. Me and Snapple hope you enjoyed it as she's created quite the monster of aggression and beating on little monsterlings with her claws and slamming them and jumping on them and yep. crushing them. And right now we're going to pass out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, would you look at that? End of monsterlinghood. Here's how you're doing. Wow. We have... <laughs> My fighting's like... Your 69% and your aggression is just about where you've gone. <laughs> Everything else is... And my, my niceness is like... Yeah, your lying isn't all that high. You're... Yeah, so... <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. And uh, we'll see you for episode two for another Snapple Plays Monster Loves You. Bye, y'all.